before, after. Finally everyone can play PUBG for free now, and today I will show you how you can get the best FPS on PUBG for low end PC. But before, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow me on Instagram. First open the game, press on the exit key on your keyboard, go to settings, then go to graphics, on the highlights auto capture, select disable, display mode, select full screen, resolution, select 1920 by 1080 lobby FPS cap, select unlimited in-game FPS cap, select unlimited smooth frame rate, select disable universal brightness for all maps, select disable ear angle, select zero Miramar, select zero Sainhawk, select zero Vikendi, select 0 Karakin, select 0 Paramo, select 0 Tago, select 0 Render scale, select 100 FPP camera fav, select 90 Anti-aliasing, select very low Post processing, select very low Shadows, select very low textures select very low effects select very low foliage select very low view distance select very low sharpen select disable vertical sync select disable motion blur select disable and direct x version select direct x 11 then go up here to the gameplay. On the inventory character render, select disable. Color blind mode, select normal. Crosshair color, select default. Weapon slot HUD, select disable. World map zoom sensitivity, select 10. Mini map desaturation, select disable. Mini map dynamic zoom, select disable. Kill feed limit, select 5. Hide nicknames in kill feed, select disabled. Interaction target highlights, select disable. Compass background, select disable. On screen key guide, select disable. Loot flash effect, select pulse. Display whispers white in a match, select disable. Free look interpolation, select disable. TPP aim camera position, select reset to right shoulder. Auto reload, select disable. Default firing mode for handguns, select full auto. Default firing mode for SMGs, select full auto. Default firing mode for ARs, select full auto. Default firing mode for DMRs, select single. Auto equip attachments with interaction key, select disable. Auto replace attachments, select disable. Auto equip attachments from inventory, select disable. Auto replace weapon skin, select disable. Hide helmet, select disable. Live stream screens, select disable. Additional action queuing, select disable. Replay, select disable. Death Cam, select Disable, and Network Debug Statistics, select Disable, then press here on Apply, press on Back, press on Exit to Desktop, press on Confirm, open Steam, go to PUBG, right click on it, press on Properties, go to Local Files, press here on Browse, close this page, minimize Steam, and you will see this. Go to TSL Game, Binaries, Win64, and this is the right file you need to find, TSL Game, right click on it, press on Show More Options, then press on Properties, here you have to go to Compatibility, check Disable Full Screen Optimization, then go here to change High DPI Settings, check this box, then press OK, press Apply, OK. Close files, 
Do you need to go to the Start menu, then go to Settings. Go to Windows Update. Press on Check for Updates, and follow the steps to be up to date. Then go to System. Go to Display. On the Night Light, select Off. Then go to Advanced Display. Choose a Refresh Rate. Select the highest hertz you have on your monitor. Then go back to System. Go to the Notifications. On the Notifications, select Off. Go back to System. Go to Focus Assist. Select here Off. And down here on during these times, select Off. Then go back to System. Go to Power. Here on the Power Mode, you have to select Best Performance. Go back to System. Go to Storage. On the Storage Sense, select Off. Then go to Cleanup Recommendations. Select this two if you want to delete them. Press on Cleanup. And press on Continue. Then go back to System. Go to Multitasking. On the Span Windows, select Off. And on the Title Bar Window Shake, select Off. Go back to System. Go to Remote Desktop. On the Remote Desktop, select this to Off. Go back to System. Go to Clipboard. On the Clipboard History, select this to Off. Then go here to the Personalization. Go to Background. Here select Picture or Solid Color. Do not select Slideshow. Then go to Apps. Go to Apps and Features. Here you have uninstall all the apps you no longer need, by pressing on this three dots, and uninstall. Then go to Gaming. Go to Xbox Game Bar. On the Xbox Game Bar you have to select this to off. Go back to Gaming. Go to Captures. Record what happened, select off. Capture Audio, select off. And Capture Mouse, select off. Go back to Gaming. Go to Game Mode. On the Game Mode you have to select this to on. Then go to Privacy and Security. Go to General. Here you have to select all this to off. Then go back. Go to Speech. Select this to off. Go back. Go to Inking and Typing Personalization. Select this to off. Go back. Go to Diagnostic and Feedback. Select this to on. Then go back. Go to Activity History. Uncheck this box. Go back. Go to Searching Windows. Here select this to off. Select Classic. And we are done with the settings. Now go down here to the search bar. Type Task. Press on Task Manager. Here you have to go to Startup. Now here you have to disable all the application you don't want to run in the background when your computer starts. Then close the page, go again to the search bar, type optimize. Press on the fragment and optimize drives. Select your C drive, and press on optimize. Then go to the other drives you have. First press on analyze, and then optimize. Go again to the search bar, type run, press on run. Type here temp. Press OK. Press continue. Select all these files and delete them. Then go here again. Type percent temp percent. Press OK. Select everything from here and delete them. Go again here. Type refresh. Press OK. Press continue. The same select everything from here and delete them. Go again to the search bar, type performance. Press on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. First check adjust for best performance to uncheck all this. Then check custom. And check smooth edges of screen fonts. And show thumbnails instead of icons. Then press apply. And OK. Now you have to be up to date with your video card driver, so if you have NVIDIA go to this website, and select here your specs from the video card. Then press on search. Press on download. And download again. Now if you have the AMD video card, go to this website, select here your video card you are using. 
then just press on submit and follow the steps to be up to date, and that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.